Hello there! So, I was forced to delete my previous video. Yeah, there was some problems. I'm not gonna go into it. Uh, somehow it, it got strike on it. So I delete videos that got strike on it. I don't know how. But, uh, let's move on. I'm gonna make new tutorials, but this time I'm gonna split it into multiple parts. So basically this new tutorial video is just about Blender. How to add new texture to your uh, new Digimon, NPC or whatever in Blender. And um, we're gonna do that right now. So you need a Blender version, let me just check, 2.93.5, that's the one I'm using, that's the one that's supported, and it works. Newer version doesn't work, so don't use it, it's gonna just crash. And uh, let's start the Blender, um, delete this cube, so you also need, uh, let's go preferences, you need to install add-on for the CyberSuit, uh, modding so the blender can load the, its files and uh, you can find that on discord in a, I'm gonna post a discord link uh, to the modding server uh, in the video description you basically gonna find everything you need there and help from other modders nice people and uh, that's how I learned uh, the modder name uh, K A Y taught me how to mod. I just said K, and uh, yeah, it took him about two days to teach me, so I'm not that smart. And let's go to import. So you're gonna have when you install the add-on for the Blender for the Cyber Suit into the Blender, you're gonna have this media version. A Digimon Story Cyber Suit model and this click that you also need to extract your game files basically if you came this far you know how to do that and uh, mine is here and uh, let's open the folder and wait for the to load there is so many files so my computer is not best and it needs two seconds to load so let's go to the char, we need 68, we need char 68, this is the Gale Gaman. we're gonna edit his textures, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So let's open his model, and here he is. So you're gonna see this, you can rotate your model, but you're gonna see this. Now, you see this, uh, I don't know well, the viewpoint shading, so that that's it's what you need to click. It's gonna load his original texture on the model. Now do this. You're gonna see this editor type. Open that. Go to shader editor. You're not gonna see anything. So what you need to do is uh, open your in your uh, this window here. You need to open the char. 68, 370, whatever the model you have opened. Scroll here, open, and you're gonna see these two. Now, some models have 5, some 9, some have 6, no matter how many, but always the minimum is gonna have these two. So, for, uh, let's go for second one, don't touch. So, when you see this, don't touch. Don't do anything. On this one, however, separate, you need these two orange parts, one, let's open, now go to desktop, wherever you install, uh, wherever your mod folder is, now get on more mod files, images, now you're not gonna see anything, so what you need to do is click here, filter files. It's gonna show you all of your image files. Now, textures need to be in image file format. 
to edit the textures you just uh, rename the extension from uh, img to dds format and you can then edit those textures in a uh, photoshop or um, paint.net as i'm using i think gimp can also edit them but i'm not sure and i don't know that that it's too complicated for me so let's open it needs needs a texture file named uh, a01s so let's do that a01s it's the second one open not gonna change edit, a anything i believe this is this uh, uh shading so let's do the second let's pause and let's do the second one now this is the actual texture now desktop ragel gaman mod files images filter and we select the first one as it says a01 just a01 open and it's gonna change this digimon soon gonna be my personal uh, mod big digimon, digimon pack that i'm making that i already add like almost 50 digimon so far i believe i even reached i passed over 50 digimon I don't remember, I don't know the exact number, but I add so many Digimon. They are just basically textures, but it's news. So, we're gonna have fun. Now, as you can see, the texture is in uh, model. Now, what you need to do is just uh, make sure it's selected properly. Sometimes as i understand it it needs both to be uh red like this it's one if one is orange the other uh, parts are red uh, for some reason it doesn't save the model properly it doesn't extract the model properly from blender to the format you need so i don't know why maybe it's just on my part but the the just to be sure I selected everything to be red or uh, yeah so go files ex uh, export media DCSC model name now go to desktop your your mod name file folder I mean our is uh, block girl gaman open mod files and you gonna see the old three files you have copied and renamed now click on any of them so you can select the name export wait and the file is exported we can close the blender and we're gonna have our self uh, extracted files you're gonna still need these to make your mod i'm gonna make tutorial how to make an actual digimon mod but this is the first one so this is how you export the the added new textures to the mod this is gonna work for uh, uh digimon mpc characters all kinds of stuff and uh this is how you do it for digimon story cyber suit now i hope this helps you if you like the video, if this tutorial helps you, please like and uh, share to anyone who needs a tutorial how to do this for the Digimon Story Subversuit. Now, this, this is not going to work for, uh, I believe, any other game. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. This is the only thing I know how to do in Blender. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions regarding the Blender or this, uh, just post in comment or send me on a on a server you can post server you can find me on server digimon modding server ask me directly by sending me a dm and uh, i hope this helps you guys peace